Hey, welcome to Tough Guys. On this episode, we're actually gonna take the kids out and go magnet fishing, something a little different. Um, we're gonna show you guys what we bought, set up the knot on this thing. We've never done this before. It's a completely new experience for us. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this and we'll show you how we had some fun with it and maybe we'll find something cool. All right, here is the magnet that we got. And um, I believe it's rated to hold, was it 150? 150 pounds, I think. I'll put a picture up somewhere here on the screen to show you guys but this is the this is the magnet and yeah. it is uh obviously you don't want to get it too near electronics we're playing a, a careful game here with the keyboard and my computer but um there's a, a way to get this thing tied correctly i guess and we've watched some videos on that um here is the paracord that we used um this is what's left over we had a hundred feet of it so we basically cut that in half to get 50 feet and then grab the the stick over there so we made this, uh, we took a closet rod and we cut it uh, into like, a, I don't know, that's about 18 inches long. And I drilled some holes in it and we ran the paracord through there and then just kind of wrapped it all up. So we have something to hold on to. I just did a paint job on it because I can't just let anything be. So we're gonna tie uh, this other end to the magnet. Um, so that we have the ability to kind of cast this thing out, I guess, a little bit. And uh, then we're gonna hit the road here soon to go down to the lake by my parents' house and put this thing in the water and see if we can find anything cool. I'm, maybe we'll find some gold found there. I'll be happy. Some gold? Yeah. If we find gold, that would be amazing. Yeah. So we started by, we're gonna search for magnet fishing knot. And I'm actually gonna take a look at this one. Um, it says this guy's updated it for 2018. We're gonna take a look there and see what we got. I didn't clear enough for him. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make it- So we're watching a veil. As best I can. So this knot is already tied on with a All right, so for this knot, here's what we're gonna do. Um, this uh, video that we watched, it showed us to basically just make a a length of the, of the paracord here, give it a bend, and bend the right word to use. I don't know, I know nothing about knots, so this will probably work out great. Here we go. He says, put this through, come across, go underneath. And then he said with the loop that is left, you actually go underneath the magnet to where you're basically getting a shape like that. And then uh, you're basically gonna pull that slack out. And again, I am the master of knots. Even though I have this, I don't know what that is. So here we go. So it looks like uh, we've got this done there. And then I assume that this leftover length here uh, we can secure that somewhere on this. I'll, I'll take a look there. But the main concern was getting this knot right. What I decided to do with the extra length is I just wrapped it around this. And then I'm going to wrap this up with electrical tape and then wrap around the knot just so that maybe nothing can get caught on there and allow this thing to still move. Um, and then I'll probably will cover the bottom of this thing with maybe a piece of duct tape just to prevent it from getting too gross and covered up. But again, we're not going to go too crazy with the setup. Um, we're going to get hit the road here. All right, we went ahead and wrapped some duct tape here after some electrical tape just to kind of double reinforce this lower section. And this still moves freely. And on the bottom, I cut a piece of duct tape, a couple pieces, and then cut it with a razor knife to meet up on this. Uh, I didn't record that part, pretty straightforward. And then I found some yellow electrical tape just to wrap around the edges to protect the, the sides of the magnet a little bit better and also give it some color in the water. Um, so. This is our setup. We're gonna try this and see if we can catch anything, catch anything with uh, this magnet fishing setup and we'll see what we can do. What do you think Memphis? Do you think we're gonna be successful? What are we gonna catch? What are we gonna get? A treasure chest is in everything and it's gonna be mine. A treasure chest? It's um, mine. not, a cool not fishes. Yeah? Nice. All right, we're hitting the road now. I'm gonna go try this out.
All right, getting here to Meemaw's cabin. It's not really a cabin, it's just a house that's by a lake, but it's not a cabin. But we do call our Meemaw. All right, we made it out here to my mom's place and uh, it's a little bit south from where we live. And now we're gonna head out over to the water and see if we can actually find anything. Got everything here ready to go. All right, we're heading to the lake. No Wait, sis. No All right, so we are here. We're gonna give this thing a try and hopefully we'll catch something cool with it and not just a bunch of trash, but it'll probably just be a bunch of trash of anything, but maybe we'll find that uh, treasure. Well, even if we don't catch anything, it's still great to have a view in a day like this in November. All right, so we're thinking we're just gonna try to catch something off the side of the dock first, instead of throwing this out. Um, we'll probably catch on stuff. So I wanna get a good amount off of this. I'm not sure how deep it is, but it's not very deep, right? I don't think so. Uh, I don't know, I'm not well, we sure. We fished out here before and, and we don't set the line very deep, so I'm not gonna go crazy with the length. All right, so a trick I learned with using one of these was basically the guy just puts this in his pocket to kind of hold onto it. And then he takes the line or the paracord or whatever it is that they're using and just kind of get it in your hand. Um, that way to keep you from having to hold that giant thing, which is kind of an extra step. Again, never done this, so see what happens. So inaugural cast. Move this thing side to side. It's definitely sitting on the bottom. I'm just gonna kind of move it along. I don't feel like it's catching on anything. I also feel like this is a great spot to be, you know, with it being by the edge of the dock. Wow. So, and then also kind of show the, the line's really good. I'm glad we get orange. You kind of see this water's pretty murky, but at least we can see it. I don't feel like there's a lot of stuff on the bottom, so that's actually uh, pull it up. really nice. You want me to pull it up and check it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, the kids want to check it. Nothing yet. All right, ready, sis? You ready, sis? Sling it out there and drag it back. What do you think we're going to catch today, guys? A treasure chest. A treasure, a treasure chest. chest. Uh, Indy, what do you think you're going to catch? All right, let's try to get it out a little bit then, huh? This is what you guys want to do? Yeah, I'm going to do it. No, don't <laughs> touch it. Magnet fishing might not be the best thing to do with kids. Or Mimos. Or Mimos. <laughs> we'll see though. We're gonna find out. Let me see this. That All right, guys, like you ready? Stuff. Yeah. All right, so I don't think you're ready for how good at this I am. Watch out, Memphis. Hey, that actually worked out pretty good. Kind of held tight, and I don't know why I'm holding it like that. All right. Maybe something. Nothing, we are just not coming up with anything. Uh, maybe we'll try over here on this side in this little area Wait, right here. I have you wanna idea. try? Asses are so big. What are you guys doing? This is our, uh, this is our, our crew working hard, Sorry, working over hard. Here. It's more beautiful. The one thing I noticed is that it's kind of hard to, it's kind of awkward to get a, used to throwing something like this if you've never done it before. Um, so having that, that piece that has the line on there is definitely helping me um, so I don't accidentally throw the whole thing into the water. 
um, to get some distance on it, but we'll see if we catch anything. God, what if it just pulled like an entire golden anchor out of the water? Golden anchor? Yeah. It's actually picking up like sediment off the bottom. So I guess this is why you'd want to put that duct tape over the magnet to help keep it safe. I didn't really understand why people were mentioning doing that, but it makes a little bit more sense now. So food for thought, um, definitely protect it if you can. I guess it's just gonna make the thing last longer. Our first treasure on magnet fishing day is just a hard piece of metal. So what do you know? Look at that. Try again. Yeah, we're getting a ton of stuff and I wonder if this is bits from this iron wall kind of breaking off over time and just falling down. But again, a really good reason to, to keep the bottom of it protected. All right, throw it in. You never know what you'll find. Toss it in. All right. What do you got there, buddy? You pull it up, see what you got? Mostly nothing. Would you find anything on the bottom? Check it. Make sure. Nothing on there? No. That's all right. You want to try again? Let go of it when you throw it, okay? What you got? Show us. Yeah, so we're getting a lot of that sediment. It's uh, like basically iron that is breaking off from the edge of this wall. Um, we figured there'd be some stuff down there like people would drop, but we're getting so much of this stuff, so we're gonna keep trying. A different area because all we caught here was basically bits of the iron that was from the wall that broke apart. So we're gonna drive over to a different place that my mom knows that has like a big wall by the edge of the water and she thinks it'd be better. Maybe somebody drop like a tackle box or something cool that we can find. Right. We're out to the point. Wow. Now look at this face. Not much to hate about this. So pretty amazing. We're gonna see if we can get anything off the edge of this wall down here and we'll let you know what we find. sediment stuff so we're gonna try this other side where we fished before and see if we can uh, get something over here we think a lot more people fish on this side over here so watch out next to the edge so over here there's this little wall uh, people kind of set up and fish off this edge so we're gonna drag this thing up and down and see what we can find over here So it's been a little bit hard to find anything other than that iron stuff that's on the bottom. And the magnet seems to catch and getting a feel for it when it feels like it's catching something is pretty hard. And I assume that's something that just takes a lot of practice to figure out. So we'll, we're gonna do this a few times and we'll go out and try it in some new locations and stuff and see if we can't find anything. And uh, I feel like doing it at a river would make more sense. So we're gonna try that as well. Ooh, we got a nail. Ooh, what'd we get? A nail. <laughs> hey, look at that. Our first real fine. Look at that, a nail. Well, we got what? another what? Old what? Old what? Look at that. Maybe it's from four or 5,000 years ago. 
Maybe from like an old Viking ship? What do you guys think? Let me see the end of this. Probably not. All right. Let's see what we got. <laughs> what do we got there? More of that iron stuff? Yep. So we're not hitting the jackpot yet. Let's walk over to the other side. Okay. Yeah. What if all these were like 2,000 year old coins, but we're just too dumb to know if that's what they are? Maybe they're dinosaur scales. <laughs> I don't know. All right, checking out a new area over here. See what we can figure out. Did you save the nail in there? I put it in there. You saved it? Here, you need a sip? Show everybody your tough guy's cup. What do you think? You love it? Tough guys! It didn't? It stuck. It stuck? It was. It stuck. Oh, we got it, it unstuck? Stuck. Okay, that means you got something. Well, no. I think it was just stuck on like a Maybe, bird. what do you guys think it'll be? Fish. A golden dipped whale's head? Sissy, don't lean over, please. I bet it's a dinosaur tooth. It was just okay. stuck on a log or something. What do we got underneath it, guys? <laughs> Let's see. What do we got? Nothing. Wah, wah. A little knot in our line. Stay here with me. I think we might try doing this with uh, a thicker a thicker cord. I've seen some guys that do it with almost like a rope and a much bigger magnet, and then they have like a that plastic bottle guard on the edges of it. So we may try that, especially when we're doing it in deeper water where we can't see what's there. Did you guys get anything? No. Nice throw. Pull it in slow. You feel like it's grabbed anything? It's probably poison oak. Dying. What'd you get, Bob? Let me see. Let me see. Nothing. Wah wah. Hey, my turn. Over. Everyone, you knew it. I feel like we're gonna find treasure. This is the one. Let me reel it in. It is a nice day, though. Throw it down this way really far, okay. and then just pull it back. Here we go. Wait, no. You win, bro. Huh? You win. Hear that? Bro. Dad, bro, now. <laughs> Are you having a good time? So we thought we were stuck on something. Okay, you got it. So more of that same stuff. Um, it's important though, if you do get stuck though, to kind of keep tension on it and move back and forth and don't just try to pull it directly. Um, that seems to work pretty well. All right, well, thanks for coming along with us on this, uh, trying out something new. And uh, we're gonna keep trying. Like I said, we're in a couple places that came up today while we were hanging out here, uh, thinking about them and see if we can't figure out uh, some fun places to check this out, maybe like at a river or a couple bridges that are around town and uh, we'll see if that works and we'll try it out. And if we maybe make this a series, if we start finding some cool stuff or some new ideas. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching and give us a like if you like the video, subscribe if you like what we're doing or dislike if you hate my face. All right, talk to you guys soon, bye.